Okay, so this is the Fresh Water Master Test Kit by API. And before we get started, there are actually three important steps that we need to take. Step one is to make sure that your test tube is actually clean and no debris is in there. Step two is to shake your solution. And what pretty much I do is I just leave it in the test or in the box like this and I just shake it in there. Step three is to hold the solution vertical when you're putting it into the test tube. So you can't hold it crooked or like this. You gotta hold it vertical to make sure that the chemicals are coming out right. So now onto the testing. Okay, so what we're gonna need for the testing is a small hand towel, a little cup with a sample of your tank water, your test tube, and of course it's cap, and the test solution. So since I'm gonna be testing for ammonia, I wanna see if my tank is cycled. Um, I'm gonna be doing this, but pretty much it's the same steps for everything else. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna take our test tube, and then I'm gonna get my water, and just dump it in there. Don't worry about hitting the line or not, because this neat little trick. All you have to do is, okay, well, first off, the line is right here where the water's supposed to be, okay? So what I learned from the pros um, is just to flick it out. And don't be scared of flicking it out like way too much because your water is not all gonna come out of the test tube. So you just do it like this. And now as you can see, it's at the line where it's supposed to be. So now, since I'm testing for ammonia, I'm gonna get bottle one, and I'm gonna put eight drops into my solution. And then I'm gonna get my bottle two, and I'm gonna put eight drops of that in here as well. Now you're gonna cap your test tube, and you're gonna shake it vigorously for five seconds. We're just gonna leave it on the side for five minutes. I'm gonna put on my timer and then we'll come back to compare the results to my color chart that comes with the Freshwater Master Test Kit. Now we're gonna take our color chart and we're gonna get our test tube and compare it to where it says ammonia because that's exactly what I tested for. So as you can see, it's around the point fifty. I would say around the 0.50 to 0.25 ppm and I need it to be at zero ppm so it's obviously not cycled yet and I'm probably gonna have to wait another week before conducting another one of these tests um, and a quick little note is if you want your tank to cycle faster you can get like plants and put them in your tank because the more plants you have the faster that your tank cycles or you can see from an already established tank. And one note is I don't use fish to cycle because that is just evil, so don't do it. But anywho, that pretty much wraps up this video. I'll check you guys out later.